Okay, here we are out at the Angelo Airfield today on a Saturday. All the guys are hanging out. We're about to do a new review of uh, some new receivers and a couple ones that we already had on the board. Today we're starting with, uh, we don't have the, what was it, the AR7000. Decided not to use it again. It was kind of an unfair advantage at being an $80 Spectrum receiver. So we have still the fake uh, AR6200 on the board. And we're going to use that because we want to compare it. This time we have the Lemon receiver. But today we have it with a uh, satellite receiver on it this time. So that'll be a new test. Uh, the Lemon, of course, you know we get it from the Lemon RX. $12.95 $12 for the receiver. $8.80 for the satellite. And about a total of shipping. Shipping's another $4 on that. Uh, we have a new receiver. The Blue MX AR500. Uh, this is uh, came from uh, one of the guys in the club named Jim. It's also used by Tim. Uh, he's been using them out here at the field. You can get this at Amazon or on eBay. Uh, it's kind of hard to find when you look for it because you type in Blue MX AR500. It probably will not come up. I think if you type AR500, but you'll notice it because it's orange. It is not a Hobby King orange receiver or anything like that. It has a it is a full range diversity receiver. It has a one short antenna and then it has a really long antenna. It goes almost to the top of that straw to right there. Uh, if it wasn't bent right there in the, in the corner, it wouldn't go to the top. Uh, DSM-2, full range again. And we are we got back again the Redcon uh, receiver that we tested last time. It is a full range. You get them from Banga. You might be able to get them from somewhere else. Five bucks. Uh, go back to Blue, uh, Blue and Max. Of course, you see that's $9.90. We're going to do the same test we did last time. Bubble will be driving out uh, back up the road there. He'll swing all the way back up the road just to the corner of Mercedes and go up the hill to the top of that hill right there. He's going to go up, he's going to turn around, he's going to come back down. We'll be adding to this test this time though. We're going to take the receiver. Here we go. Bubba is on the road. There he is. He's driving out of the field. He's already on the radio and uh, everything's looking good right now. Everybody's kind of keeping up. <laughs> uh oh. Of course, like I said, we're going to get a lot of interference. Of course, he's in a truck, but it's more of a sensitivity test. So we're going to just kind of see how things act. and Max really dropped out there for a moment. Still waiting on Bubba to make his left. He's out there at the end of the driveway and the blue MX has dropped out there again. And it's back. Alright. Bubba's finally made his left. Make AR 6200 is jittering around a lot. Let's see what's holding up the best. We would say probably the lemon and the red con is where is he now? All right, he's, making, he's just making the corner going up Mercedes. And the five dollar red con is the only product that says I'm here. <laughs> All right, he's straight across the uh, field, going, starting to go up the hill.
looking pretty good. It should probably improve here in a moment as he starts. He's now starting to ascend up the hill. The Blue Max seems to be dropping out the most, I think. But the Red Con hanging in there, the lemons hanging in there. He's at the top of the hill now. So he's about a quarter mile out. No, I think that's what, half a mile? Yeah, just right at, right at half a mile. He's right at the top of the hill. He's making the right, and now we're gonna lose everything here in a second. All right, Bubba, you can turn around and come back now. Come back, bandit. <laughs> we'll see which one reconnects first as he makes this little turn around there. Like I said, he's way, oh gosh, way up there at the top of the hill. So he'll be turning around here pretty soon. Oh, the lemon almost heard something there. I want to believe the lemon's going to come back first. It's the most expensive thing on the board. Ah, the red con was back first. <laughs> the lemon. Still waiting on the blue max is back. And the fake AR-6200. He's uh, right at the top of the hill. He's on his way back down the hill now. The Blue Max is, is, is not, it's probably doing, it, it's at the worst here. <laughs> Where is he now? Alright, he's about straight across the uh, field right now. Just made the right to come back towards the field. We have uh, receivers just dropping in and dropping out. Okay, it's almost to the driveway. Wait till we stop and see what happens here. So he's back on the driveway now, pulling back into the field, and everybody's moving neutral. So we'll, we'll right after this, we're going to pause for a second, and then we're going to put the radio in uh, range test mode, and we're just going to step off and just without any obstructions, without any truck, without anything between the radio and the receivers, and we'll see how the range test. Uh, does from that angle. It's like it's a speed break. It's okay, here we are in range check mode. Uh, let up off the stick for quick. See, uh, inactive, and when he pulls up, it goes active. And we have the receivers ready. Go ahead and move the stick. And Bubba's going to walk off straight that way. That way, there's nothing in between the radio and the receivers. And here we go. I gotta go in and reach into my brother. There you go. <laughs> I think this is going to take a while. But we'll keep an eye on it.
He's out there on the grass patch where people like to land at now. And then the grass patch, now he's on the little clay patch. See the fake AR-6200, seems like it's kind of glitching, Jeff. Past, he's past the end of the runway. AR-6200 is about out. Going out. It's out. He's still calling. The uh, MX-5, the, the AR-500 just went out. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going until they all go out. I want to see who's gonna go out next. Keep going. Just lost the Rick. Well, Rick Hunt almost gone. And it's back. It's trying to hang in there. It's in there for the battle. The Red Con is trying to stay in. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's about three quarter ways to the spillway now. That's it, Bubba. You finally made it. Come on back, and uh, as you come back, go ahead and hold it up and see if you want to come back first. Should I come back? Yeah, start walking back, but go ahead and, and uh, keep it in rain check mode and uh, and uh, stay on the uh, uh, control. I'm coming back. We'll see which one comes back first. Oh, oh red con. Raycon just beat the lemon out, but the lemon is a little bit more steady. That Raycon is a good little receiver. That's a good little receiver. We got the blue MX back. That, well, it was almost back. Isn't worth nine dollars and ninety cents when you can buy the red con. Kind of wondering is the uh, R sixty two hundred seven past the end of the runway right now. Finally came 
back when you get right at the end of the runway. There's a test. Uh, as I always say in our test, draw your own conclusions, kind of review it. But one thing we do know is that for five dollars, the Redcon is a is, is worth every penny. Uh, the V, the Blue MX AR500, I uh, didn't perform quite as as good as I thought it might have been perform. And uh, the lemon did okay. It did okay, but still for the price, the Redcon uh, is a, a, a better a better value. So there's a test. Y'all have a good RC flying day.